Just hold it still. I can't breathe. New at nine, jail inmates kneeled on, slammed into walls and into the floor. Well, newly released video tonight shows violent use of force against inmates at LA County jails. Those videos just ordered unsealed all stem from a 2012 court case. KCAL News assignment editor Mike Rogers has been going over those videos tonight. Mike, why are we just seeing them now, though? Yeah, Tom and Susie, so I want to give you a little bit of background on this case. This case was filed in 2012. It was called the Rosa case, and it was designed to try to get more protection for inmates from the sheriff's deputies who were accused of using excessive force, including punches to the head, kicks, and knees on neck. Well, after several years back in 2015, they finally settled that case and it put more restrictions on the deputies and what kind of force they were allowed to use inside the jails. ACLU was listed as a monitor on that case and was getting frequent updates. Now, recently, the ACLU said that the sheriff's department was not living up to the agreement and they filed to have more changes made. As part of that filing, they submitted these videos from the past couple of years. The LA Times and another organization sued to have those videos released so that the public could see what was happening inside the jails. We're going to show you the video. It is a little graphic to watch. I want to give you that warning, but go ahead and take a look at it. You'll see some of the de uh, deputies here standing there. They take the inmate out. He throws him against the wall, hits his head, and he goes down. Uh, there are several punches you'll see in some of these videos, and that's exactly what the ACLU says is unacceptable and unnecessary is what they called it. So the LA Times sued to have these videos released, and now we're able to finally get a look at them. Now, uh, the LA Times data shows that the use of force incidents within the jail has actually reduced since the 2012 lawsuit and the 2015 settlement agreement, but not to where they should be according to the agreement that was made. That's kind of the crux of this whole situation. They say more needs to be done to do this. Now, here at KCAL, we actually did a story with somebody back in 2020. I want to show you that video, and I want to be clear that this video is not a part of what was released by the judge today, but something that we had gotten on our own after this inmate reached out to us saying he was arrested. The charges he was arrested on were ultimately dropped, but while he was in custody here, this incident happened with the deputies. Now you'll see here in a second, the man makes a small flinch with his arm and that's when the deputy grabs him and takes him down. Now at the time I had reached out to the sheriff's department on this and asked them what the deal was with this. They said that very small flinch that maybe not even easy enough to see in this video was reason enough to use the force that they did. Of course, the person in this video disagreed with that. The sheriff's department released a statement saying, quote, the department views Judge uh, Pergerson's, that's the judge who released the video, decision as an opportunity to build further trust within the community it serves. In keeping with its mission of transparency and accountability, the sheriff's department welcomes the opportunity to reveal the steps it has taken to better serve our incarcerated population. As we have reported extensively, there are problems within the LA County Jail, Men's Central Jail, the uh, County Board of Supervisors wants to even eliminate parts of the jail at all. I also want to point out that those videos released had no context, no audio, and no description of what happened or what led up to the use of force by those deputies. Okay, Guys? Mike, thank you so much.